What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out Planet Nomads. It's been a while since we stepped foot into this adventure crafting survival game. So I figured it's time we loop on back and see what the game's got on offer. It seems like it's changed a lot since the last time I played the game. So anyways, let's check it on out. We'll see what we've got going and how this whole thing is going to play out. In 2065, mankind discovered unknown technology that enabled interstellar travel. Humans were finally able to explore the nearest stars. Years later, scientists received strange, inexplicable signals from the constellation Arid Anus. <laughs> it, is a, it is a wealthy planet. Research suggested existence of nearby exoplanets possibly capable of sustaining organic life. In 2087, commercial vessel Anita enters Arid Anus system, searching for exoplanets suitable for mining and terraforming. However, destructive anomalies damage the ship and survivors are forced to escape. I had no choice. They made me do it. Alright, I had to throw myself out of the airlock while everybody else was asphyxiating and burning to death in the void of space. It was necessary. There was no time to save them! Hibernation recovery complete. Welcome back. My name is Joy and I am your AI advisor integrated within your suit. Please leave the stasis chamber. You sound very joyful, I'll be honest with you. So there's our stasis chamber An right there. The of unknown origin has shut down the ship's stabilizers. Okay. Yeah, that definitely doesn't look good. Uh, what else do I need? You I'm inside this little area. You are awakened technician on board with the necessary qualifications. The damaged stabilizers must be repaired immediately to prevent the ship's uncontrolled descent into the atmosphere. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's get on that. I'm sure I can fix it. We can hover with a jetpack? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we've hovered on over to here. Uh, cut away this block. We need to use a multi-tool. Break it down. Alright. Yeah, get cut on. That's what you get right there. Get cut on, son. Do I have to cut this block too? Oh, I gotta cut all those blocks. Gotcha. Emergency tools do not require batteries. It only consumes the energy of your suit. All right, and then we can fix doors like so. Fix that thing. Oh, yeah, that's like brand new. Man, I am the man at repairing stuff. All right. Uh, we can holster the multi-tool with H. Apparently, it won't let me just haphazardly walk around the house with I a gun. detected multiple injuries. Please continue to the nearby infirmary. All right. Where's the infirmary at? Oh, the door opened like a scary ghost without me noticing. All right. Uh, infirmary, where are you at? Infirmary, you're over here. It's this big red room. All right, let's go over to this side. Hovering, levitating, open the door. Oh, there's bandages over here. Nice, I'll take those. Yeah, let me have those. Your biometrics in the bottom visor shows you are hurt. To fix this, open your inventory. All right, so there's my inventory right there. We've got some bandages, medical material to treat minor wounds and injuries. Uh, use them? Function stabilized. Nice. Okay, to leave the infirmary. I mean, we didn't get, like, all of our health back, but we got, like, a little bit of our health back. What's inside of here? Anything good? Can I, like, explore around? Is there stuff that I'm missing right now? Like, can I go in any of these other doors? I'm an explorer. I like to find all the knickknacks that are hidden up underneath stuff. That's why I like the long dark so much, is because you got to look up under the tables and, like, up under the rugs and stuff. I guess not. Are there people inside of these? Well, at least, thankfully, they all seem to be empty, so that's good. Fly up to the door with space bar? All right. I could put it in hover mode. Hover mode. All right, you can hover indefinitely. You can adjust your altitude using spacebar and left control. Oh, that's probably good to know. Oh, no. Integrity at 63%. Electrical grid overloaded. Please be careful when working with high voltage circuits. Okay. Did that work? Drag the wiring to the generator? Oh. Oh. Okay, I can connect the lights. Oh, damn. Okay. All right, I learned all kinds of new things. Leave connection mode by bailing on out. Well, bail we shall. Without a switchboard, the source of energy can be connected only to a single block. Okay. To continue, you need to restore the energy in this section. Both the local generator and backup battery were discharged 131 days ago. 
Like, don't you think you should have woke somebody up before this became, like, critical? How do I craft a new battery? We gotta press B, we got building blocks. Oh, there's a new battery right there. Alright. Yeah, let's do that. Drag our battery to the hot bar. Okay. Aim at the ground and press that. Yeah, that's fine. We can put that right there. All right, and then we got that, so we can finish the block like so. Oh, cool. Now we've got, so we got to connect electricity over to here. So we'll connect electricity to there, and then, is that all I needed to do? That was pretty much it? Oh, okay. Well, what's inside of here? We've got uranium. Yeah, that's what I want to carry around with me. Highly radioactive fissible material. That sounds like it. To make fuel, open the refinery by pressing E. Oh. Oh. Alright. Drag the uranium. Oh, I gotta put it inside the workbench. Gotcha. Records, the ship's propulsion system started deteriorating after it reached the planet's orbit and eventually all control over its movement was lost. Individual systems gradually failed and the integrity of the hull was damaged in the front section of the ship. The last record from the black box indicates that the captain attempted an unsuccessful manual course correction. Then the captain separated the cargo and colonization parts of the ship to protect them from the imminent explosion of the bridge. Okay. So we can open a generator. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, so we'll open that up and we'll put that in there. Energy in the workshop has been restored. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go to the next place. I'm gonna put my gun away because I don't think I need to be packing right now. This vehicle needs a cockpit. The components can be made in a 3D printer. Alright. So all the required materials are ready. You just need to print a set of composite parts. Okay. I will do exactly what you have told me and hopefully not screw it up. Can I just, like, take this stuff with, like, shift click? Or do I have to drag and drop it every single time? It looks like I have to drag and drop it. I tried control and I tried shift, but I didn't try out. Maybe we'll try that next. So we can open the block catalog. There's our cockpit right there. All right, we'll put that right there. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to put it right there. That seems like the better plan. And then we'll finish building it right here. Build me that cockpit. Let's go. All right. So that's good to go. We can release the vehicle by cutting the block. Oh, yeah. Okay. I need you to... I need you to die. There we go. All right, the targeting was slightly off, but we're going to get out of here. To the end of the maintenance tunnel. Yes, let us drive a uranium-powered car. The crew and exactly 10,000 colonists to their new home. The objective of this expedition is to establish a research and mining colony. The main goal of the Congenia Technological Consortium is to establish a self-sufficient community and a safe trade route back to Earth. I'll be honest with you, I feel like we could have just walked that distance. Like, the vehicle seemed unnecessary. Like, see, this is where our budget goes right here, is because, like, when you have, like, a group of engineers inside of a spaceship, they're like, bro, we've got to allocate the budget for a space car that just drives us down a highway. Like, you, you got to have that. If we don't have a space car, like, what are we even doing? Terraforming? Boring? Manufacturing? Nah, man. What we need is a space car in the middle of our spaceship. That is definitely the worthiest all of allocations for our budget. Uh, let's see here. We can open the doors down here. All right, let's go. The stairwell will take you to the ship stabilizer. Well, I'm going to try and fix it. I can't guarantee. All right, so we've got a 3D printer over here. Contains everything we need. All you have to do is print quantum parts. All right, we'll print the quantum parts, please. Stabilizer's failing. Hull integrity at 38%. Ship scans show that the main stabilizing generators were put out of commission by an energy wave of extraterrestrial origin. The epicenter of this wave is located directly on the planet's surface. Good to know. Now we got five seconds until our quantum electronics parts are manufactured. Guess I'll take that. 
All right, so where are we going now? You open up some doors for me. Thank you, robot. I appreciate it. Repair the generator. Oh, yeah, that thing is kind of busted. Is this room radioactive? You would tell me if this room's radioactive, right? So we got to connect this to the grid. Like so. And then it also Backup appears... Backup generators uh -oh. offline. Please insert fuel cells. Oh, we got to get some deuteria. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep, some deuteronomium. Let's take that real fast. And then we got to fill up this generator. All right, so there we go. Deuteronomium and deuteronomium. Stabilizers online. Uncontrolled descent terminated. Flight path optimized. Why is my screen all purple? It was radioactive in here, huh? You guys just chernobyl me, didn't you? You were like, no, you're gonna be perfectly fine if you go in there. It's only like four rontgens, bro. You're gonna be, you're gonna be, you're gonna be fine. Please leave the area. Radiation levels normal. Unable right. to establish connection with the main computer. To receive mission update, you will have to link to the main AI core manually. Please proceed to the rear of the ship. All right, let's head to the ship's ass and see what we can get done over here. Oh, the ship's ship ass just blew damaged. up. Your suit is not designed for vacuum conditions. The hermetically sealed door cannot be opened because of safety protocols. Unable to find okay. an alternative route. The surrounding rooms are hermetically sealed. Safety protocol failing. Door safety lock damaged. Decompression of this section is imminent. To continue the mission, you must leave the ship. All right. Please use an escape pod. Warning. Into the escape, escape pod, pod we go. Dropping. I can see my health dropping aggressively, so I don't want to be here anymore. Let's just escape. Let can we just all agree, robot, that the ship is a lost cause and that we should not be doing this right now? Yeah, I don't like this. This whole falling to Atmo routine that so many games do inside of like a death pod. Don't like it. Claustrophobic. I don't like it at all. I don't like small spaces. I like being able to see. If they just put like a little window on the side of this thing, I'd be okay. But like, if I'm just inside this thing, like nah, bud. Nah. Alright, so we can open our journal. Find a scanner. Alright. Uh, how do I crack this thing open? So there's our little pod right there. Before exploring, open the inventory and open an emergency container. There's one right there. I see it. Let's grab this real fast. So we've got a sleeping bag. We've got a mission data pad. We've got nutrition capsules. Those sound delicious. We've got purified water, and we've got bandages. All right. It's not looking good out here. It's really not. Your biometrics in the left shows you are hungry and thirsty. All right. Uh, I will With drink of the water, secured. and I will well eat of the capsules. All right, so we should be able to buy ourselves a little bit of time right now. Do I have my repair tool thingy? Can I break this down right here? Is that possible? How do I tell how much energy my ship has? So we've got some plating and some electronic parts. We've also got mechanical parts right there. All right. Sounds good to me. Yeah, let's break down salvage. I mean, what else do we really have to do right now? We just got to pick up all these little pieces, and hopefully it'll be enough for us to get started. So fabric. Okay. What about this piece over here? We've got a wing piece. All right. Go ahead and break down the wing piece. This one looks like it's going a little bit faster. We'll take a look in just a second at our crafting menu and, like, what we can create with what we have on hand right now. If we could make, like, a water purifier. I want to look after our basic biological needs first. I would rather not panic. Can I break this down with my laser? Hmm. Oh, you gotta left click it. Gotcha. Ah, so we've got carbon, we've got iron, we've got silicone. Okay. Do we have any hostile creatures around? I'm a little worried about this whole hostile creature thing. Was it harvesting when I was right clicking? Let's find out. I want to test this. It definitely was not. So let's maybe not right click on any of these rocks and then we'll just focus on left clicking them. Alright, a little bit of iron, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. 
I don't want to go too far from our landing zone because, frankly, I'm terrified right now. Uh, what can I do with my building blocks here? So we've got an emergency 3D printer. Yeah, let's make one of those. I don't know where I want to put it. Yeah, just like put it right there for right now. And uh, we've got a world map too. Oh my god, that's new. That wasn't in the game the last time that I played. Okay, so the game got bigger. There's more stuff to do. Alright, so there's our 3D printer. I don't know if this is actually going to make anything without electricity. Uh, I can load it up with all of this random stuff and just hope that we get the framework for everything that we need. But no guarantees. We've got basic frames right here. We should probably build ourselves a shelter. That's probably a really good idea. Yeah, just like mash that out for right now. I'll come back for you in a minute, I promise. I'll come back for you, baby. I'll come back for you. So that gave us biomass. Alright. Biomass and herbs. Okay. Well, let's keep going with this. So we're going to break down some of this stuff. What does this thing have? This thing looks especially shiny. Maybe it's got like some magnesium in it. Or is this just like a useless rock? Is there any way to get rid of that on my screen? There we go. I want that to go away. I don't think that this rock has a whole lot of tangible value to us right now. So I'm going to stop mining it. We do have a whole bunch more ship plating though. I wonder if I can make salvage or something. Navigation is offline. Okay. Well, I mean, it looks like it's a big world out here. We really just got to decide what our important tasks are that we want to apply ourselves to. Yeah, break this down real fast. I got a feeling we're going to need whatever's inside of here. Oh, man, well, that gave us a couple more goodies, but not really anything that I'm too excited about. The frame rate is better than the last time I played the game. This game had a really bad frame rate the last time that I played. If I remember correctly, this game was like a chop fest the last time I played it. So I'm glad to see that they've gotten that sorted out a little bit. I am playing the game on high graphics right now. I didn't put it on ultra because it said when you put up the ultra setting, it said that they don't optimize at all for ultra. Like they don't patch it. They don't do anything else with it. So like just don't use it unless you're really, really confident about your rig specs. So I wasn't confident. I lacked the confidence of the warrior, unfortunately. This is iron right here. All right. Well, it's not very much iron, but I'm going to take it. Should probably make some foundation blocks or something. This is very crumbly iron. This is a very talc-like iron over here. Oh, that's got this carbon. Gotcha. Okay. What is this guy over here? Let's go see what this little dude. We also got a big tree right there. Maybe I'll kill that later. I don't know. I ooh, this is very iron rich. Okay. All right. I'll take that. Iron rich sounds good. So we kind of want to look for things that have like little crystals and stuff sprouting off of them. That seems to be the secret out here. We're not losing our status very quickly, so I'm not going to worry about that just yet. But I'm going to try and get the basics up and running. I don't know. Oh, we've got a full inventory right now. Oh. Do we? Oh, we got to make a better jetpack. Gotcha. Okay, let's fall back. Let me see what I can manufacture over here. Like, I don't know exactly what's available. We got base foundations, so we need that, and we need plating, huh? Okay, I think we could start up on a foundation pretty soon, though. And then maybe slap some walls on it. Maybe try to get, like, some kind of functional hideaway ready to go. Whereas with this guy right here, we can make glass components. We've got sleeping bags. We can make mechanical parts. We've got fabric. We've got electronic parts. What does that take? Biomass? Okay. Uh, with our frames over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop that off real fast. Keep making frames, I suppose. Yeah. If we have more frames, that's good. Uh, let's go to our building blocks, and I'd like to make a base foundation over here. Like, if I can just, like, we'll put this up against this rock right here. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Like, I don't know how big we want our base to be. I'm going to give myself, like, some extra floor space. And I don't know if this is just, like, a blueprint for right now. It probably is. It'll probably start sliding in, like, all the goodies later on.
and there. And then maybe we'll have this like curve around the side of this rock, possibly. I think I'm going to have to destroy it, though. I think that rock's going to have to die. All right, so for right now, drop that off. And I'm going to try and break this rock over here. It's like all up inside my business. And I'm trying to like build a house. And unfortunately, this sediment is just not pleasing me. So you guys go away. Yeah, the more dead you are, the happier a spacefaring person I will be. Just get out of the way. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm probably going to have to farm up some more foundation materials, too. There we go. Now we got a nice, beautiful, flat space for us to build our first facility. How many more frames do I have over here? Dude, I got frames for days. I don't care about that. Let's rock it. Let's do this thing. Perfect. Put a little bit of HP on this bad boy. We got a printer 2.0. Check our data pad for more information. Okay, I would do that if I knew how to open my data pad. Just keep whittling this together. How about that? All right, we're absolutely going to need some more plating if we want to build this place up. I'm thinking we go like one more block in this direction. We should have enough floor space to play around with. Unfortunately, I think salvage is the name of the game for right now. So if we see any more ship parts laying around, let's grab those. Let's do a little bit of explorative action. How about that? I'm going to break down some trees or something. Oh, I guess we don't get the trees if we right-click on them. It just gets them out of the way. But I think we're probably going to be using, like, biomass generators or something pretty soon. So having some extra biomass to give us, like, an hour or two of electricity so that we can start manufacturing, like, full bore. That sounds like the plan to Splatty. Let's break this down over here. I see a little piece of wing over here, like a little piece of plating. Oh, that's a crystal. Never mind. I was wrong. What is that? Oh, it's just like solidified carbon? Interesting. I wonder if that's like solidified iron over there. Yeah, let's go look. Each one of these gave us a pretty decent amount of materials. So I don't see a reason why I should like hold back. Yeah, it is. It's actually like a solid iron crystal. I don't even want to know the type of environment you would have to be in in order to grow a crystal of iron like that so large. Crystallization is kind of a difficult process without a lot of pressure and a lot of constituent materials and a lot of heat that are like undisturbed. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get things to crystallize like that. Lots of iron though. They are being generous with it. All right. Well, let me like harvest some materials real fast and see what we can get underway. Well, I farmed up for a little bit. We found some iron. Like we didn't find a lot, but we found like something. So I don't know. We can open this thing on up. I got like 57 of that. We got like 35 of that. That'll probably be good enough. I don't know how I upgrade this guy. It says that I need to upgrade it. I don't know if I just need to build like a level two. So we've got a reinforced wall corner over here. Reinforced wall corner. We've got a solar beacon. We've got a windowed outer wall. We've got cabinets and other reinforced areas. But as of right now, how do I see? Can I upgrade it? Oh, I can rename it. Well, that's not helpful. I wanted to upgrade this thing though. It said that I could upgrade it somehow. Let's look. So the 2.0, if you want to print better and faster, you need to upgrade your old printer. Just keep printing. So we need Mark One planting. We need electronic parts and mechanical parts. I think we can do that. So I've got mechanical parts. There's the electronic parts right there. I don't have any plating, so I'm going to have to make that. Let's maybe make like, I don't know, as much plating as you can possibly queue up, I suppose. Might be helpful. Apparently, we've got a task updated. Maybe it doesn't add it to my recipes until I have all the stuff for it. There we go. So, we've done task finished. So, we need two of those. We need two basic frames. So, cancel that. Yeah, cancel that queue, please. I need frames. So, let's do like 13 frames, maybe. Actually, I got nine frames right there. That might be a bit too much. We'll let it mash out one or two of them, but... And what was the other thing that I needed? Electronic parts and mechanical parts. I already have those, so... That's pretty easy-peasy, in my opinion. All right, so that task is done. We'll go ahead and cancel those on out. I guess it wants me to... I 
I think it wants me to make them, so let's wait this out and see what happens. I'm not gonna lie, this 3D printer is a pretty cool device. If this actually existed in the real world, this thing would kind of be the jam. It's like making complex parts. Alright, so we got the printer 2.0. Has that been added now? Now that we have the stuff for it? We got a compact container and a fad machine. To unlock this block, build a compact 3D printer. I have an emergency 3D printer. Compact med bay, a switchboard, a bio generator. Ah, there it is. Alright, so we've got this guy now. This guy's gonna need electricity, huh? I bet you it is. Alright, well we can just kind of put him right here. Looks good to me. Yeah, whip that thing out. Oh, I don't have any plating? What? Where did my plating go? Did I not take it out of here? Oh, I didn't take all my stuff out of here. Gotcha. So there's my plating. My plating's all good to go. We got a bunch of those right there. Alright, looks good. Now we've got the stuff. I just didn't have it in my hands right now. Building a way. Building a thing. Alright, so our new objective. This thing needs electricity. So we're going to have to do the generator and a bunch of other stuff. The compact generator is right there. So there's the bio generator. I kind of want to finish building my house though first. But I don't know how close we're going to cut it as far as resources go. So like maybe just like drop... Is that one not spaced properly? That one's not spaced properly. Hold on. There we go. Perfect. I was going to say, I noticed the corners were slightly off. I think this is probably going to take some, like, serious business building in order to get finished off. Uh, it's kind of dark right now. I sort of want to wait till morning. I think we have enough resources to last a little while. I can't even see what's in the stones that I'm looking at right now, so maybe we'll just chill. My name is Splattercat. This is Planet Nomads. If you want to see more, don't forget to leave a like on the video. It helps me out as a content creator. I sift through the pile every single day to find what's worthwhile so you don't have to in the world of indie gaming. Planet Nomads just had a big update, and so I figured we'd check back in on the game and see if it was fun. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, do, and take care, everybody.